is all around us. It is in the clothes that you are wearing. It is in the air that you are breathing. It is even inside of you. Carbon is a very versatile element. It's able to bond with up to four covalent bonds of either itself or other elements. Because of this, carbon has very different properties depending on how it's bonded together. So one form of carbon is diamond. This is when the carbon atoms form a three-dimensional bonded structure. It makes a very, very hard substance and, you know, a little shiny. We also have uh, two-dimensional bonded sheets of carbon. We call that graphite. Graphite is what's in your pencils. So when you're actually writing on the paper, you're leaving little, little tiny sheets of graphite behind. You also use graphite to make steel and we'll put it in some batteries. Then there we have what's called an amorphous carbon or non-crystalline. You guys know this better as charcoal. And then one of the more interesting forms of carbon is if you take 60 carbon atoms bonded together, they form kind of like a hollow soccer ball-like like structure that we call a fullerene or a buckyball. So we call organic chemistry the study of carbon. Carbon will bond with many other molecules to form organic molecules. Examples of these are things like sugar, DNA, alcohols, aspirin, and many, many countless more. Carbon is also found in all living things or organic creatures. Stuff like you, me, plants, bacteria. Carbon is everywhere. All living things are made of carbon. So now I'm going to demonstrate a reaction that produces a lot of carbon. I cannot say this enough. You really shouldn't do this at home. And I mean, I mean it, don't do this at home. All right, so here I have this metal pan that I have some sand in. So I'm gonna add a liquid fuel that contains carbon. I've pre-mixed a mixture of sugar and baking soda. Sugar contains carbon. It has 12 atoms of carbon, 22 atoms of hydrogen, and 11 atoms of oxygen, or we'll say C12H22O11. And then baking soda, you guessed it, also contains carbon. All right, let's give that a little light. All right, so what's going on? It's important in this experiment to have both the sugar and the baking soda in order to produce the snake-like structure. Both sugar and baking soda burn and produce water vapor and carbon dioxide gas. However, because the baking soda releases so much carbon dioxide in this experiment, it actually reduces the amount of oxygen available for burning the sugar. So instead of burning, some of the sugar decomposes into elemental carbon and the gases that are produced bubble up through it forming the solid black snake-like structure. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to check out our website for some more experiments that you can do at home. Download instructions for this and other STEM at-home activities at smv.org slash stay connected.